Welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can do an alteration to your commercial patterns in order to increase the hip line. You can see I did a little increase right here on the side, so I'm gonna show you exactly how that's done using the pivot method. So let's get started in showing you exactly what you need in order to do this alteration. To make our alterations, we're gonna need the following items. First, you're gonna need some paper, so this is what we're gonna use in order to transfer our alterations to. You're gonna need the back of the pattern envelope that has the body measurements. You need your pattern pieces that you're going to alter. You need some straight pins, and then you need two different color markers. I have a black and I have a red. You don't have to use these specific colors, just two different colors. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is flip your pattern envelope over, and we're gonna consult the body measurements because the body measurements is going to dictate what size we're going to use. So let's say, for example, we want to use size 16. It fits perfectly in the bust, in the waist, but in the hips, it's a little bit too small. So we need to increase that hip area. So for this one, they're saying it's a 40 inch circumference around the fullest part of the hip. And for me, it's 42. So in that particular case, you're gonna to want to write down the difference between them and that's what we're gonna use in figuring out how much we're going to actually do our alteration for. So I'm gonna show you how to do that mathematical calculation. So to do our quick little calculation, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna write down your hip circumference. So let's just say my example, it's 42 inches. Then you're gonna do the pattern hip. So this is what's listed on the measurement for size 16, 40 inches. You're going to subtract it, you get 2 inches. So whatever this number is, you're going to divide it by 4. So 2 inches divided by 4 equals a half inch. So since we have, and the reason why we do 4 is because we have 2 side seams on the front part of the skirt of pants two side seams for the back of the skirt or pants. So that's why we have four sides that we're going to be adding a half inch to each side. So this is gonna be our magic number and this is what we're gonna use when we do our alteration. So once you figure out how much you need to alter the pattern, you're gonna take your pattern and you're gonna lay it out with some paper underneath. And you'll notice that I have it on a large piece of cardboard, which just makes it easier for me for I can straight pin everything down. And instead of taping it, it makes it a little bit easier so I can move and pivot my pattern around. Now you'll notice that my paper, it's longer than my pattern piece, which is good, but it's not wider than my pattern piece. That's because we're only doing the alteration on the side seam section. This right here says center back, so you don't have to worry about it. On this side, which is my side seam, is the side that I'm going to be doing my alteration. So I just have it covering to about here. I don't even need it that much. I could probably do it about this if I want, if you want to save yourself some paper. So what I'm going to do is lay my pattern piece on top of my paper, and I'm good with my black marker, I'm going to draw an outline all the way around the side of the pattern that is laying on the paper. So if I remove the straight pin, you can see it right there. So it's very easy for me to line it up. So that's the first thing. Just go ahead and do your outline. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna mark a couple of lines on your pattern piece. So the first one we're gonna mark is going to be the waistline. And if you're lucky on your pattern piece, it should already say waistline. I know mine's backwards, but this is waistline and then there's a line. So I know this is my waistline that I'm just gonna go ahead and continue my line all the way to the edge because this is the side that we're gonna be working with. Now if yours doesn't say it, if the top portion of your skirt or pants or whatever goes to your natural waistline, then the waistline is gonna fall just past your seam allowance. So if I have a 5 8 inch seam allowance, I'm gonna measure down 5 8 make a mark, that's gonna be my waistline. So I go ahead, draw my waistline all the way to this side, and then I'm gonna, on the waistline, I'm gonna mark over 5 8 of an inch and I'm gonna make a mark because that's gonna be one of my pivot points that I'm gonna to do to, to extend my hip line. So my hip line now is down here. Now my pattern piece doesn't actually have a mark that says hip line. If yours does, then you're lucky. You just go ahead and do the same exact thing you did for your waistline. 
If it doesn't, then you have to do some investigation. If you look on the back of the pattern envelope, sometimes where they have body measurements, you'll see that it'll give a listing of hip and then it'll give the distance on how far away it is from the waist. So in this particular case, it's nine inches. So then I take that information, measure from the waistline down nine inches and I know this is where my hip line is gonna be. So then I draw a line. If your pattern does not say it and your pattern envelope does not say it, then you have to figure that the normal length or distance between the hip line and the waistline is between seven and nine inches, that's normal. So you can go ahead and just measure yourself from your natural waistline down to the fullest part of your hips and just kind of see where it falls. Now, if you wanna play it safe, you can just go ahead and do nine inches. You also know, because if you look at my pattern piece, up here it's more narrow, which is the waistline, and then it widens out because your hip is normally gonna be the widest point. Once you have that, and you're gonna do the same thing on the hip line, you're gonna go over your seam allowance, so five eighths, you're gonna make another mark. So this is gonna be our second pivot point, which is just as important as the one up here. So once you have all that marked out, then we can go ahead and start with our alteration. You're gonna take your measurement that you got from your calculation, which is how much you're altering the pattern by, and from the hip line, you're gonna mark out a line that's that distance. So for me, it was half an inch, so I'm just gonna measure half an inch and make a mark with my bread marker. Down at your hemline, you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna measure the distance of how much you're altering by. So for me, a half inch again, and you're gonna make another red mark. You're gonna take a straight pin and you're gonna place it in your pivot mark on the waistline. So this is where I went in my seam allowance on my waistline. I'm just gonna stick a straight pin right through there, through my cardboard. Remove my other straight pin. So now I only have a pin at that point of my pattern. And I'm gonna pivot my pattern until the hip line meets this red line here, like that. And then I'll stick a couple of pins to hold it. Use my red marker. And so from the hip line up to the top of the pattern, I'm gonna trace the outline of my pattern piece. Keeping my pattern piece where it is against that red line I just created, I'm then gonna stick another straight pin in the pivot point on the hip line. And I'm gonna pivot my pattern until the bottom hem line of my pattern hits the red mark I made down here. And now I'm gonna outline my pattern from the hem line up to my hip line. Replace your pattern back to the original black mark that you made. And then you can go ahead and tape it down. I usually tape it down on the back on this page, on the, this section right here. And so when you cut it out, you're gonna cut it along the black line until you get to the red line. And this is gonna be your new side seam. So you'll see up here at the top, the waistline is the same width. So the waistline stays the same as it is in the pattern but it tapers out, increasing at the hip line, so you get that alteration, and then it just goes down and maintains the same line here. So once you have that all taped out, you could go ahead and cut it, and then your alteration is complete. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 100 sewing video tutorials. New tutorials are released regularly, so make sure to subscribe to be notified of the next release. Thanks for watching.